Hello Taffers, welcome back to my Thief Gold playthrough that I started in my tips and tricks video. If you haven't seen the rest of the series, I highly recommend it. Today I'm going to be doing my second run through with the sword. In my first run through I focused on being as fast as possible, doing a speed run, just getting through the mission quickly. This run through is going to be more stealth focused. I'm going to try to avoid knockouts whenever possible, avoid being detected, taking a sneaky subterfuge uh, approach. So let's get into it. So obviously as you can see I took the back entrance to the mansion, shot that rope arrow, climbed up and then went through the second floor, took the ladder down to the first floor. That's the route that the game kind of encourages but in my first video I went through the front door because I just wanted to show that it was possible but this run since I'm doing a stealth run it's, it's better to go through the back entrance if you intend to be stealthy. This dining room right here is pretty dangerous because it's mostly marble, so you'll be easily detected by that card patrolling up and down the hallway in that straight path that you see right there on screen, or the guy that's going back and forth through the kitchen and through the other side of the hallway. So now that door right there, I love that little detail that you can open that door and shoot that rope arrow up to the second floor. One of my favorite ways to get up there. This mansion's full of traps, and this is one of them. There's an fireball or energy ball that shoots on that one side and there's one that shoots there if you step on that little piece of floor it'll explode those barrels so that's an instant kill pretty much on harder difficulties the first floor is heavily guarded second floor not so much but you still want to be careful because the guards can actually hear you on the second floor from the window on the second floor down to the first floor and they will sometimes come up to the second floor to investigate, so don't underestimate their pathfinding ability. It's, it's actually pretty good. That window right there is actually the one I'm referring to. They can hear you through that window. You can see me being a little bit sneakier there because of that reason. You want to be crouching for the most part on the second floor because of all the projectiles. Avoid that. Hidden fireplace, classic trope and thief. <laughs> and this part of the floor is mostly carpet, so you don't have to worry as much about being loud, making noise. Get those two goblets. The one on the other side is kind of hard to see with that plant in the way, so make sure you don't miss it. And this is important. This is the bedroom. You want to come here first because if you're playing on Expert, you need the key to get into the greenhouse to get the incriminating evidence on Constantine, so it's very important to come here first. It saves you time and makes it easier for you later in the mission. And don't miss those right there. It shoots one projectile out though, so make sure you're not right up against that wall when you grab those pieces of silver. Kind of odd detail, the greenhouse key actually opens the bedroom too, so a neat odd little detail. You can go this way to go up the mansion and to the sword, but I choose not to. This room right here is just a piece, little piece of treasure you can get off to the side. That floor panel actually turns it off, so you have a little second there if you want to use the floor panel to give you cover to get over to the chest, but if you time it right you don't even have to. You can avoid the projectiles, you can jump over that one and land in the corner of the room right there. This, in my opinion, is the easiest way up to the sword. Um, taking this, uh, taking these stairs, going up this way. I think there's maybe three or four different ways, maybe even more, that you can get to the sword. So, a lot of different options, but I feel like this is the easiest one because you avoid most of the marble floors. And this here, I just wanted to show this because I didn't show this in my last video, but this kind of room that plays with perspective. And there's the, the three little doors, and there's the actual door that you can go through. Just a really neat little part, part of the surrealism of Constantine's mansion. Hello? Show 
my guard almost spots me, but he doesn't get a completely good look, so I'm just going to go the other way. This is not a glitch. <laughs> this is actually part of the level, this little part of the mansion that you can see off in the space. So make sure you grab the diamond on the one side and the little piece of gold on the other. First time I played through this mission I thought that it was a glitch and part of the level just wasn't loading, but that's actually part of the mansion. And this is I think the best way to go. Uh, just because you avoid a lot of that marble, like I said, this whole floor, this whole upper floor where the sword's kept is mostly marble, so, and there's a lot of guards everywhere, so this is pretty tough, tough to navigate while being stealthy, if you're ghosting, or just trying to avoid any kind of confrontation, it's going to be difficult for you. And these guards have, these three guards on the floor right near the sword have very short patrol routes, so be really careful, this is actually where You'll see in a minute where I first get detected. Up until this point, we've been ghosting, but I'm gonna get, gonna get detected here, unfortunately. But as I said in my previous videos, I, I find thief to be most fun when you try to play stealthy, but you you deal with the consequences if you get caught. You roll you roll with the punches, go with the flow. I feel like saves coming kind of ruins the fun of the game, turns it more into a trial and error than a test of your skills or a test of how you improvise with problem solving. I try to shoot a noise arrow down there and try to lure them down into that part of the hallway that gives me a chance to run and get the sword, but they don't really fall for it too much. There's an intruder in the building! Don't let him buy you. I shoot another one just for good measure. See if they'll fall for you it. You can't hide for long. I'll find you. Damn you! I'll find you soon enough. Don't make me come find you. If you run out of noise arrows, also you can shoot broadhead arrows and they kind of act as noise arrows, they don't have that device on them that makes the noise, but every object in this game has a physical weight to it, so it makes actual noise, so guards will still actually react to regular arrows even if they don't have a noise maker on them. He sees me. I could have. If I think I would have waited a minute, he might not have been able to see me. But time to take my new sword and get Okay, we got the sword. This is kind of where the stealth hits the fan a little bit, but. After this, you'll see me try to hide and get back into stealth mode, so this is not me permanently running through the mission, this is just me trying to escape after being caught on that floor with the sword. And this is a way down to the to the greenhouse, yeah. to the garden where you can get the incriminating evidence on Constantine that you need on expert difficulty. Oh. So nice little shortcut there. Saves you a lot of time from going back through the mansion proper and then going down out the garden that way. And his garden is actually quite large. There's 
all these giant trees that come up later in the story. Shut that light off, I don't know really what the point of that is, but it's kind of cool. is not too heavily controlled and you can take this little moat here that you see me in you can kind of take that through a lot of the garden and get around easier <sighs> and I think if you take that little door it's locked in the water there. I think that leads you to the, the big, big, huge world part of the level. I think I mentioned that in my last video, but there's part of this level that was added on from the dark project at Thief Cold, where it has this area where everything is, is huge and you're very small, so the couches and beds and chairs and things like that are all the size of like buildings. It's kind of neat, but I feel like it is a little bit unnecessary. This is really cool. This is the part I, oft I often forget about. There's this little pool up here, but you can kind of see, it's kind of hard to see, but you can see some wooden, wooden sh planks up there in the ceiling. You can actually shoot a rope arrow through and climb up here. It's like a little hidden room. Really neat little detail, part of what makes this level so strong. very bad timing there just as I happened to come down out of that room off the ceiling there happens to be a guard patrolling by so I knock him out just because I have to and I don't want to alert any more guards so that was a that was a knockout unfortunately this is where the incriminating evidence is on Constantine that you need on expert there's also some loot in here so if you're just a little bit short of your loot goal and you haven't gotten the incriminating evidence this might put you over the top if you're close So we got the sword, we got the evidence, we just need 1500 in loot, we're not that far away, so I'm going to pick up a few more goodies and then we're going to head out. Forget to check the closet there. Moss is pretty important too on these floors. These don't sound like they make a lot of noise if you have headphones on or if you have your sound turned up. The footsteps don't sound very loud, but the guard in this room can hear them pretty well. So 
all this little stone here on the floor, you want to be walking really slow or putting moss down, or ideally both. Make sure you get that little cubby opened up and looting it completely. <coughs> Guard's suspicious of us, so I'm gonna wait just a second and then I'm gonna head back on through. Hello? Show yourself! Must have been imagined. Who's there? Who said that? Not to make a noise now. Who's there? Is someone there? and guards are kind of suspicious of us so it's kind of why I got stuck there a little bit near the bar hey. I'm going this way here because there's a steps up this way that leads to the second floor and I can get out that way don't want to have to backtrack all the way across the mansion even though it might be a little bit safer Right, and there it is, and you just have to get on the balcony, so that counts as being out of the mansion. So there it is, the sword part two, my favorite mission in the game. If you haven't seen it, check out my previous videos. I kind of pontificate more on why I love this mission, but brilliant design, great gimmicks, complete subversion of the thief formula so far, absolutely just amazing mission. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any feedback or any concerns you'd like to voice to me, please leave me a comment or a private message. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.